Back pain and golf, sadly, why are these two things so related? Well, today, we're gonna talk about what might be bothering your back when you're playing a round of golf, but the best part is we're gonna help you analyze it and how to fix it. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Cole, director of instruction for US Golf TV, and there is nothing, sadly, that can ruin a beautiful day in the golf course sooner than having a bad back. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to leave some comments or some questions in there because today we're talking about something that's really important, not only preventing injury, but helping you enjoy your days on the golf course. So what I've done here today is I've brought in one of our experts here at the Sanford Power Golf Academy. I brought in Matt. Matt, you are a physical therapist. You're a golf medical professional. You know the body, you know the golf swing. Golf and bad backs, what's happening? Yeah, so by far and away, most common thing that we see here when we're treating golfers is back pain. Interesting thing is they come in thinking it's their back um, and honestly majority of the time the low back is not the problem. It's somewhere else in the body. Well and that's what I want to talk about today because I know the golf swing but I don't know the body nearly like you do. So what I want to do because I want to get right into this folks. We want to get yeah. some answers right away. So I'm going to make a back swing okay. and I want you to kind of walk us through if I'm feeling lower back pain, what else might be happening? So let Perfect. me go ahead and get set yep. up here. I'm gonna take it to the top. All right, so in the backswing, to get into this position, what needs to occur, we need to have a, a fair amount of what we call thoracic rotation or upper body rotation. Also key to have, um, to make a good pivot, we need to have a fair amount or, or some good hip rotation there. Now what happens if, if one of these two is not doing what they're supposed to do, the low back is always, it, it turns into the nice guy and it tries to take over and do the job of one of these two areas. Well, that tends to cause problems. It's going to lead to pain, stiffness, tight low back. Um, so we'll get into, into some other things why that's happening. Well, I've got, when we're talking about this, this is maybe not, well, maybe it is related to the to lower back injury, but even from a golf standpoint, I want to show you something that I see a lot in golfers and you yep. can tell me if maybe, maybe this is because of their hips. So yeah. I see a lot of golfers, they get in here, Matt, and they got a pretty good swing. Then they get to the top. And they actually do something that looks like this. They, it looks like they're turning, but they, they're working more like this. What's happening yep. when they do that? Yeah, definitely. So we see, we see that a lot, like you say, and we, we would call that reverse spine angle, or they're getting into too much extension. And again, that may be caused because their upper back, their thoracic spine, isn't quite rotating, their hip is an issue, or we look at other keys like the core strength, kind of glute weakness isn't firing. So they're, they're they're trying to get to that position and they're just extending through the back, kind of pinching down into their, their lumbar spine or lower back. Now I see that a lot with uh, even, uh, you know, even we think of, of back pain as for just older people, but I see that a lot with young golfers too. Why might that be where, yeah, and, where they get in that position? Yeah, and that, that's where it's key, um, getting your body screen. So it's funny, the, the, the older golfers we see a lot of times it's the mobility issue, right. their upper back or their hip. If we're talking junior golfers or someone who has good mobility, it may be like core weakness that's usually the third culprit if those first okay. two aren't involved and that's where we just need to figure out do we need to build up some strength and, and some postural awareness to help to help limit that over that lower back from taking over the swing yeah so all right so the first thing we're learning right here this is this is fantastic is that if your lower back is bothering you it might not actually be your lower back we want to start looking exactly some, yep. looking some other areas all right so let's Absolutely. get into some of the specifics yes. we can yes. do here at home perfect so um, if we talked about the three common things our thoracic spine or upper back Second one would be the hip, and yes. third is maybe some core strength weakness. So the first exercise that I would have someone do is a simple thing that they can do at home, find a wall. All you really need is, is a foam roller or a pillow, something that you can push your knee into the wall. What that's gonna do is stabilize our lower body. Then I'm gonna have you work on just rotating through your upper body, teaching your body how to move that upper spine, or maybe it's, it's locked down, so you need to stretch it a little bit with that movement. Over time, that's gonna help your body be able to move your hips, your upper back, independently of each other, and try to take some stress off that low back. That's, this, I, that's one of my favorite mover, movement patterns you guys do, is because folks, that, that can help you not only, obviously, with we're talking about here with your back pain, but yeah. also just in general, even if your back is not bothering you, that's a great thing to do because you're creating some awareness of how to rotate. All right, definitely, number two. Definitely, number two is uh, a simple thing, what I call the 90-90 position, okay. and what that's gonna do is that's really gonna stretch out your hips. So we're gonna work at trying to open up those hips, create a little bit more mobility, um, to be able to rotate in that backswing and that downswing, which is gonna take stress off of the joint above, which is our lower back that's usually the one that's barking or, or in pain because 
the joint below it isn't doing what it's supposed to. Yeah, so those are the first couple, some great things, easy, simple things to do. Number three. Yep. Number three is we're gonna, we're gonna work on the core strength. So we're actually going back to the first exercise that I, that I showed you, and now we're just adding in a little bit of a weight using a med ball at home or maybe some light dumbbells. You're rotating into that pattern, but you're having to hold a, a, a little bit of weight, and that's gonna cause your core to, to stay nice and stable and, and build some strength through there to give you a stable base. Perfect. Hey, golf is a great game. We want to be playing it as long as possible. Back issues are not just for old people or young. It's everybody. No, everybody. All right, everybody. Yep. So here's what I want you to do. Next time you're heading to the golf course or just in general, if you're having some issues, find a physical therapist. Find somebody who's certified like Matt who knows what they're talking about when it comes to not only the body but also the golf swing. Your golf instructor might be a good help for you that. Take these things that, that Matt has shown you. You can do them at home. You can maybe even do them on the driving range yep. before as a, as a warm-up session. And if you do those things, you're going to alleviate some of that back pain. But more importantly, you're going to get a chance to spend more time on the yes. golf course, which is exactly what we want.